We're here on a lovely day on the River Seine where we've just launched our new Discovery Sport, which is the first compact Discovery, of course. We built this barge, created these giant Wellingtons, we've created a certain British element to, to the barge, and we've had our new vehicles driving on it, showing its capability off-road, into water. It's been quite spectacular. The thing that really sets this vehicle apart from all the rest it's a, is its package efficiency. It's such a small vehicle, only 4.6 metres long, yet still having 5 plus 2 seating, it's the most compact premium SUV in its class. One of the key ways of being able to achieve these attributes is being able to concentrate on weight efficiency, on aerodynamic efficiency and also on powertrain efficiency. The combination of all of that delivers a 14% fuel economy benefit. It is my absolute pleasure to be here today to help launch the new Discovery Sport. It's absolutely gorgeous. Thank you for having me. Well, I sat inside the new Discovery Sport for about half an hour before we, uh, before we drove up onto the barge. And uh, it was very comfortable, um, very easy to use. I think it's a great car, yeah. We already have a great reaction from the press. We've got over a thousand orders already before anyone has actually seen the car. Um, it will actually go on sale in quarter one of next year. It will begin to with a progressive rollout around the world. All our vehicles are about design excellence and engineering integrity. You look at the new Discovery Sport, you'll see things like the waistline is stepped from the base of screen, so it gives it a very dramatic look. There are specific design cues to differentiate and talk to the different values of this vehicle. When you're in the car, whether it's on-road or off-road, it's just fantastic. It's just a really great place to be, and I love the way it drives. Today we are on the River Seine and we have just launched the new Discovery Sport for Land Rover and uh, it's boiling hot. It's the end of Paris Fashion Week today so I'm happy that that's over. <laughs> it's been a busy week. Um, I walked for a couple of my favourite designers this week and their shows, Balmain and Givenchy. Um, there was a lot of events and people to meet and meetings to take so it's a busy week of uh, networking and uh, just, just meeting people and getting a face out. Tomorrow I fly back to LA which is where I live and I have a couple quiet weeks at home which I'm looking forward to. It's been a manic month for me, I've been travelling all over the place so looking forward to some time off. I think it's a great car. I really enjoyed spending my short 30 minutes in there. The draw to being associated with uh, Land Rover was the, the fact that it's so iconically British. So I always like to, to be attached to British brands and uh, to help support them if I can. And, you know, I grew up uh, getting in Land Rovers in the countryside, so yeah. I did, I grew up in Devon and I would describe myself as a country girl living in the city. But actually I kind of feel, always feel like LA is quite similar to the countryside, it has that slow pace. Um, but yeah, country girl, yeah, for sure. Uh, well, I learned to drive in LA, so that's the first place I learned to drive, and uh, that's kind of all I know. I mean, I, I, I actually really love to drive, so, and I spend, you spend a lot of time in your car in, uh, in LA because there's, you, know, you have to drive everywhere, there's no public transport, really. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, there's a lot of traffic, um, so it's important to be in a comfortable car for me, for sure, definitely. I'm so lucky I get to come back to the UK about once a month um, for some work and I always mix in a bit of pleasure. I go, and, I go home to Devon, I'll see my family, I'll catch up with my brother and sister in London. Um, so yes, I feel very connected to England still, even though I live so far away. Adventure means to me, I would describe it as um, spontaneity, uh, taking, living in the moment, um, going somewhere or being somewhere or being with people that you haven't been with before, uh, being courageous and living life to the fullest. Yeah, that's how I would describe it. Thank you.